tech tip DSE model. You may encounter a situation where you have these alarms. Humidifier control sensor fail. Room sensor fail. Humidity control fail. Room sensor fail. EEV2 com error. EEV1 com error. Okay. And you, you may only see the humidity control sensor fail. Alright, I'm gonna tell you a little little hack here because sometimes this happens. And they're gonna tell you to replace this part, that part, blah blah blah. Try this first. Find your EV board. This is the wire from your super cap board. Unplug it. Okay? This is a backup battery for the EV. This is not a battery, it's a super cap. The old ones had batteries, they were hardwired, that didn't work out, so they went super caps. Now, I'm not sure exactly why this is a problem, but it's a problem. Unplug this. Not gonna make a difference. Uh, if the power goes out, it goes out. Um, so unplug that. And then unplug the bottom one. Turn the unit off. Let it sit for a minute. Turn the power back on and see if it clears. Because basically what happens is this is a big loop called CAN bus. And then a DSC comes from the controller down there to, I believe it actually goes to the bottom one first, to the bottom one, out of the bottom one, up to the top one, out of the top one. And it ends at the control sensor, your humidity control sensor, which is behind the panel in there. So you're always gonna see a temperature a return temperature, return humidity sensor fail. If anything, this side of the line is dead. So if you see that, you probably have a CAN bus problem. And for some reason, this is causing interference with CAN bus. Can't get any answers on that, but if you disconnect that, it's not gonna affect anything. Um, I mean, I guess the best thing to do would be to replace the super cap board our parts situation it's kind of hard to get parts right now so anyway quick hack for you guys good luck